Nope. The title is not clickbait. I actually bought a sumo wrestler. Sumo wrestler. <laughs> I guess there's uh, there there needs to be a little bit more context to this story. So first off, if you didn't know, what mo most likely if you've never seen any videos from my second channel, my anime channel called Weeps and Waifus, then most likely um, you you didn't know that I went to Japan earlier this year and uh, during my trip to Japan I was able to meet a new friend called Sho. Sho has a YouTube channel that I will a hundred percent recommend you to watch because even even if you um even if you don't plan on going to Japan just like looking at some of the uh, some of the things he does here here he is show me japan right here this is show right here and you can go and subscribe to him he's a very good friend of mine at this point we talk pretty often and he's actually teaching me uh japanese so uh show is a local uh tour guide and he takes you around like Japan and he has videos about like where to go if you want to like save money, um, what what to do, what not to do, what type of alleyways and everything. It's, it's, it's He's just an overall like very knowledgeable person. And he's the guy that you want to go to if you want to be like, hey, I want to know the real place, you know, like the underbelly, the hole in the wall type of thing. He, 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 he He's got you. He's got you. So anyways, uh, he, he gave me a tour around, around Tokyo for a while and he invited me to do a sumo experience. And I was like, um, sure, that, that sounds, that sounds fun, right? Like let's, let's do a sumo experience. And well, let me, let me just kind of explain to you how it went. So during this like sumo experience, Sho got me into this like taxi. We 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 agreed to to go to um, this train station like earlier in the day, and um, it was a little bit rainy. So we went, and it took me to like this like real like obscure <laughs> down a uh, little alleyway um to where there were like some houses and and we we got to this house and the entrance was just like okay uh you know like you can see like it, it was just like very secluded so we were like okay let's let's go in let's see what this this is all about and to my surprise here it is like as soon as I entered, you you can see the tatami mats, the floor. We had to like leave our shoes at the entrance, and we see this. I see this rose. I'm like, what are we like? Are we putting this on? Like, what what's going on? Honestly, I thought that the whole experience, the whole like sumo experience that that show was talking about, was mostly a like going to a museum or something like that where you learned about the history of sumo or like you got to look at a video or something at a, at a at a place but i didn't know that it was going to be at a house well the house turned out to be uh more than just a house it actually was a training camp for actual sumo wrestlers that's show by the way that's that show and it was me with other people like we were we were we were uh just a couple of people in the tour and here is the training ground for the sumo wrestlers now as soon as i saw this i was like wow this is like legitimately super dope and i saw the screen so i was like oh so we're gonna watch a presentation that's that's dope i i i, I dig that but little did i know the adventure that that awaited me because no one was 
expecting for two sumo wrestlers to show up out of nowhere in the middle of the presentation that we were being giving to demonstrate some of the things that they were talking about in the presentation. So yes, we were learning about sumo culture and like very interesting facts about it. But then the, the wrestlers came out <laughs> and they were very serious and stern and just like started to like spread the dirt and like purified the, the arena. And we were just like, okay, um, so what's going on? And then we started to to learn about like the type of exercises that they do and how they prepare to like to th their bodies to to fight and here you can see one of them like doing pretty much a split and like i know that a lot of people just say like oh sumo is just like two fat people like pushing each other around uh, no like i wish i was in the physical form that these guys are like these guys are pure muscle <laughs> and they're flexible and nim and very coordinated their body is very coordinated so that was like a shock for me to see i was legitimately impressed to see how actually like physically adept they are like they have way better condition than i'll ever have in my life it was incredible to see but um that's when like things started to turn a little bit like uh interesting because uh as we got demonstrated some of the um some of the ways that they would like stretch and train like the sonkyo pose which is not which is something that you do in sumo as well as doing it in uh, in kendo um sho like literally just comes out of the blue and says well i guess it's about time to train and we're like uh excuse you so yes uh he started to all right raise your hands for volunteers now let me tell you something real quick this tour that show is organizing is not a tour that it's that is well known because it was a trial i was i didn't know i was going to be a guinea pig for this thing as well as the other people that were there uh we didn't know we were going to be guinea pigs for for this experience because this is something that I didn't know it was going to be like as um, not controversial but unique for the Japanese people because uh, sumo tends to be something of grandeur something that is very like of them you know it's sacred like it it it, it, it has millennia on it so it is very sacred to them and not even Japanese people get to even like interact with a sumo wrestler, let alone step foot on the arena. Now, training with one of them or actually two? God, what what timeline are you on? Uh, like I said, and I want to state this again, not a lot of Japanese people, if any, get to interact with a sumo wrestler and none of them get to step on the foot on the arena but Sho wanted to create a a tour that would kind of like break a little bit of that barrier and get people from all over the world and Japanese people as well to experience this to uh, to to feel closer to the um to the sumo culture so yes there's some people that don't like it some japanese people that see it as an um, like an abomination in a way because it's like dude you you're you're touching something sacred but other people are like yes finally i i get to be like i get to learn about my culture i get to see like what it is and honestly like sumo has such a high respect for me now from what i learned 
because I got to experience this. Otherwise, if you had just told me about it, never. So, um, yep, the training began. So he, there was this little kid that was doing the, the things as well with us. And we were just all trying to follow the exercises. Um, you can see me. Oh, where am I? Where am I? Uh, let me let me find myself. Oh, here I am. Okay, you get these pictures uh, Shaw took. So there's me. Uh, we were like in pain because a lot of the exercises uh, that they do are very like leg heavy. So you're like working your quads, your 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 what whatever the muscles of the legs are, your femur. Every, every, you're working everything and it's painful. It's legitimately painful. So, uh, not only that, but uh, I guess you can, uh, we were also like put against the wall right here and we were pushing the wall. So like here, here would be the wall and you would have to like push it, like slap it. Um, to, you know, to, to generate force. So that's what we were doing there. We also had to do it with the, with the with the pole, like it's right there. You would have to like go to it and just like, and you know, hit with the palm to like, you know, get a feel for what it is to like slap and push and, and use your body behind it. Uh, we were doing this type of like little ducks in a row and trying to like follow the movement because our feet were like this and we had to kind of like do this little slide while still maintaining like a low stance. It, uh, it was a killer workout for the legs. It was killer. But then uh, we we got to sit down and and then they showed us how to how to push an opponent. Right there, they, they showed us how to push an opponent. And we were like, oh, this is this is great. Like, oh, that's that's good. And then show comes again saying like, um, volunteers. So uh, you can see actually my brother right here. My brother went with me to this to this trip and um, he tried. He really tried. But none of us, none of us that put any sort of weight behind it was able in any way shape or form to like move these people around uh there's this um she she's a she's a popular tiktoker she actually works in japan she was very kind to translate a lot of things that i didn't understand in japanese so that, that she was she was really cool about it uh here's me trying my absolute goddamn best to like push him and not being able to in any way shape or form like i was i everything everything i i tried and couldn't even the little kid when i went ahead and like tried his best but I, when i'm telling you like you cannot move these guys even if like if if you tried like you just can't you just can't so we were done training it was great we were all happy and then they say well you've 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 trained now let's put it into good use and uh well we we fought them <laughs> you know we went against them uh here's actually my brother in position for his match and I mean, I, I, I just don't need to tell you how it went. We got like slapped around. Well, he, they didn't slap us, but like in in the most playful of ways, they, they would just like move a little while we're trying to push them and just like go. And they would let us win. They, they were, like the sumo wrestlers were super chill. They were, they were super nice, but they obviously let us win for, 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 for the, um, for the tour and and it was great and we were all laughing we were having a great time but everyone tried their very best to like 
you know, fight against them. And <laughs> it was so funny. The, the, the sumo wrestlers were super, super, super chill. They were very, very accommodating. They were very... Um, they were really funny. They were really, 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 really funny. And then Shaw went against them. And this is how Shaw ended up uh, clearly... Uh, yeah, that, that was kind of the result to all the matches. And, and so let, let me tell you, nothing could have ever topped that because that experience in itself was was fantastic. What came after was probably the biggest surprise of my life because I didn't think anything could really top training and fighting a sumo wrestler but then they brought us into the kitchen and there was a table ready for us to eat lunch with uh with with all the mats and everything and we we're like what we're gonna have lunch and not only that but we were going to have lunch with the sumo wrestlers so here you can see that we were all sitting sitting down and we were just like getting instructions on how the food was going to be prepared how it was going to be served and the people that were going to help us were the wrestlers though they were going to help us and we got to to share a meal this meal is called uh chanko which is this like vegetable and chicken with rice. It was delicious. God, I cannot describe to you how insanely delicious that thing was. You had to like, dude, I'm getting hungry already. So y y you would boil a vegetable broth with a lot of vegetables in this. And as you can see, uh, we have like gloves because uh, they would give us like raw chicken and we would have to like make kind of like this this motion with the hand and like kind of squeeze it and then scoop it with a spoon and then dip it in in the broth um and and that's that's the chanko so uh that's why we have gloves and and it was so fresh and delicious uh definitely one of the best bro broths i've ever had in 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 my life and he, here's a here's a video of it uh we were all like sitting together sharing sharing this meal steamy and it was cold so it just hit the spot real well and we we're just like all talking and sharing like whatever we can with the with the wrestlers and it was great it was absolutely it was absolutely fantastic because i got to even ask one of the wrestlers like hey what's your favorite movie and what's what's your favorite thing to do as a hobby and stuff like that so i got to like share a meal with two sumo wrestlers one of them retired the other one's still active and then at the end they they gave us uh an autograph like they they uh they we we would have like our hands like print on this on this thing and they would sign it with with their name and and it was just like a nice souvenir to have and the entire thing lasted from like 9 a.m to like 2 30 p.m and i cannot tell you how amazingly great it was this thing was a such an experience such a massive experience that i i, I just i wish anyone uh, everyone could experience it because like i said this is not something that you can just like do on the weekend this was a trial tour to see if if it would be like of interest to people and we were the guinea pigs and i mean we came out out of this experience everyone all together beyond happy because this is something that you don't just get to do so 
anyways, I wanted to share this 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 particular piece of 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 my life with you uh, because not any like a lot of people can just go to Japan, but not and not not just anyone can can go and and be as fortunate as I was to to be able to be part of this. Um, now, if you do plan to go to Japan. Again, go to Show Me Japan, uh, his channel, and you can contact him because he—that's what he—that's what he specializes in. Uh, he does tours, and you can see him doing tours with other people, and he'll take you around to different, to different places, different, different, um, different things like made cafes, karaoke's, and everything. And he does have a uh the sumo experience so the sumo tour is actually live right now so if you plan on going to 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 japan highly recommend that you do that because holy shit it was the best all right let me know in the comments down below if you if you've ever been to japan or if 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 this was of interest to you and if you want to know more about my trip to japan let me know in the comments down below as well so i can make another video because this was just one <laughs> half a day of everything that I end up, ended up doing, so uh, I would be I would be glad if you guys want me to to share more. So let me know in the comments down below, and uh, that's it. Subscribe because it's free. That's it. Bye.